Greetings, this is Isaac with the DFW IT department. This tutorial will show you how you can improve the appearance of QR codes with Adobe Illustrator. We're going to start off by making a vector version of the QR code with Live Trace. To do this, we got to go through Object, Live Trace, Tracing Options. And under the Tracing Options, we're going to set everything to zero and tell it to ignore white. Then we're going to copy it over and expand it through Object, Life Trace, Expand. Then we're going to simplify it through Object, Path, Simplify. We're going to want to set the angle threshold to just below 90 and make sure that straight lines is checked. Now let's copy it again. Hopefully you have an idea of what your end product will look like. Keeping portions separate allows you to easily modify them later. It's important to merge the data portion for our next step. You will find the merge function in the Pathfinder panel. After merging, click Expand. Next, we'll shrink the vector by giving it a small negative offset path. Use Preview to ensure portions of the QR aren't vanishing with the offset amount you select. Now, let's copy the vector with the offset path. Ungroup them and delete away the original vector. Merging earlier helped this step by making the data portion one big piece instead of a dozen or more smaller pieces. Regroup the marker portion the squares inside squares, and then copy the entire QR vector skeleton. Here's where creativity comes in. You'll want to find a stroke thickness in settings that look good without overbleeding into the white portions. Having too much spillover can compromise the readability of your QR. Once you find a thickness and settings you're happy with, use Object, Path, Outline Stroke. Ungroup the selection, then merge and expand. Duplicate your creation. Then align the copy to its original. Add color if desired. Be sure there's a minimum of 45% contrast between your color and the white space. Move that data portion behind the original. We'll use the original to overlay an effect from the effect gallery. Before we play with effects, let's turn up the document's raster and effects settings to 300 dpi. Now let's go to Effect, Effect Gallery, then Boss Relief, which is in the sketch folder. I'm going to set white to bottom left because it goes well with how I angled my gradient. Once the effect is applied, 
Use the Transparency tab to change the type from Normal to Overlay. Now, let's play with the markers. Go into the group and select the outer boxes. Under the Stroke tab, adjust the Weight, Cap Type, Join Type, and Dashed Line to create the desired look. The same goes for the center. Adjust the stroke settings to create your desired shape. For my dashed line settings, I set dash to 4 and gap to 1. Ungroup the markers, select the outer boxes, then outline the stroke through Object, Path, Outline Stroke. Ungroup again, merge, then expand. And again for the inner boxes, Object, Path, Outline Stroke, then ungroup, merge, expand. Add colors and effects as desired. For the outer box, an inner glow effect was used. It's a great effect for adding dimension to an object. For the inner boxes, the same effect as the data portion was used. After coloring, a boss relief effect was applied, then its transparency was set to overlay. Once you're satisfied with your QR, group the entire code together. Under File, Document Setup, set your artboard to the dimensions of the original QR. Move the original QR out and center align your new QR to the artboard horizontally and vertically. Now we can export this using File, Save for Web and Devices. Clip the image to the artboard, disable transparency, and adjust the image size as needed. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. If you'd like a professional QR code designed for you, please visit us at dfwitdepartment.com. Thanks for watching.